evaluate the integral, give an exact answer. So we want to integrate x squared minus one over x dx from one to three. The advice that I would give in this one is to break this up into different terms. So in other words, x squared minus one over x, let's break that up into x squared over x minus one over x dx. That way we can reduce the x squared over x to be just x minus one over x dx. Now we can integrate both of these terms. So the antiderivative of x is x squared over two. And then the antiderivative of one over x is the natural log of x, right? And we wanna calculate that from one to three. So now continuing the fundamental theorem of calculus, we'll plug in three. So we have three squared over two minus the natural log of three, and then minus a quantity of one squared over two minus natural log of one. All right, and from here, we just clean it up a little bit. Three squared is nine. So we have nine over two minus the natural log of three minus one squared is one, so minus one half. And then the natural log of one is zero. So that gets wiped out. Now we just combine our common terms. Nine halves minus one half is eight halves minus natural log three. And then of course, eight halves is four. Four minus natural log three will be the exact answer to this interval. That was a quick one. On to the next one.